Here we begin our Zoom virtual Tai Chi class on Sundays at 2 o'clock. Okay, here we have Rory Hawkins, teacher Rory Hawkins, doing 24 Tai Chi wave hands. One moment, please. You notice that the top hand is below the eyes and the lower hand is a block. Alright. With that, let me greet you. Peace and be upon you. Peace be upon you. And let's greet you, okay, for showing that uh, we are not going to fight. <laughs> and we're showing. Well, I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> okay, we're showing that we are. Definitely at peace. All right. Now, this uh, 27th Tai Chi class is in honor of Soma School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach, California. And the phone number is for Long Beach office is 562-420-2112. And for the Lakewood office, it's 562-408. 1140. Their website is www.soma.org. S O H M A. And uh, you can check out Dr. Daniel Hoover and Veronica Hoover on YouTube, where they have seven classes on Tai Chi for beginners with application. And of course, Odi and Zola. We have sure, classes. To, yes. Hello. Spread the news. Spread the spread the good vibes. Spreading the good vibes. I like that. All right. So uh, today, are we going to do some warm up? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We're starting off with this uh, movement that we call the curl. Oh. Or okay. somebody might call it the cobra. And Don't it you? helps us have a good spine. There you go. Okay. Your feet up, uh, uh, shoulder length apart, mm -hmm. and. First off, stuck your neck out, and then curl. Try not to go too deeply at first, and then later on, as you see, teaching Zola goes very deep. Which helps you have a healthy spine. Of course, if you have a happy vertebrae, your body tends to be much more peaceful. Feel good. It does feel good. Let's do this ten times. Eight. Nine. Ten. You like the way you counts. <laughs> no, just simply allow your arms to just lean over like an old scarecrow. <laughs> Don't push it. 
And if you can touch the ground, great. If you can't, just lean over. When you come back up, pretending you pick up a hundred pound weight, bend your knees and lift. Okay, now we're gonna rotate our necks. Very slowly, we were watching Dr. Hoover and Mrs. Hoover do this exercise, and he explained what it is that you would feel as your neck rotates. Go the other way. Don't snap it around. Don't do it quickly. Take your time and enjoy the feel. Okay, now let's put our hands behind us and do the, and do the rotation. Uh -huh. okay. I feel the difference, so you open up your chest more. Less what? Okay. And again, doing it very slowly. Mm. Five times each way. Three, four, five, and then the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Okay, we're going to rotate our shoulders. This feels especially good to me because for some reason my shoulders are always kind of stiff. And tight. Tight. Mm -hmm. for, for you 10-year-olds, you may not be able to relate to that. But for you 50, 60, and 70-year-olds, you more than likely can relate to that. Back <laughs> forward. Whatever you say, dear. Uh -huh. You need to do it very fast. Oh, yes. Just I need to slow rotate down. Rotate your arms yes, very slowly. Right, let's, we're going to do this 10 times. Eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Shake that out. Shake, shake, shake. All the ne negativity, shake, shake, shake. All the negativity, shake, shake, shake. All the negativity, shake, shake, shake. All the negativity, shake, shake, shake. Who came up with that? You did. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are at this point. Try it this way if you want to bend your elbows in mm -hmm. or stretch out. Or stretch out. This will be the few times that you would have a straight arm. Okay. Good. The other side. So your thumb is on the outside. Okay, with those. Check that out. Okay. Oh, sorry. I especially need this because I have arthritic wrists, and I find that uh, it keeps them a little bit flexible, a little bit more flexible mm -hmm. than they would. Mm -hmm. This is the time when you're bending yeah. your elbow. You know, I, I, we're talking about age and all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if it's uh, just, I think it's a natural progression of age because there's some things. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel now that I didn't feel when I was 62 or 72 mm -hmm. or even 82. Okay. Now that I'm 95. You are not 95. You're <laughs> I mean, 84. Now that, <laughs> now that I'm older, <laughs> put it that way. Yeah. I'm feeling these things that, uh, that I'm feeling. Well, you know, as you get older, you're really more aware of your body, you know. <laughs> kind of, you know, when you're 10, you know, you can leap buildings with a single bounce. I did, right? I did. Okay, because we did. think we can. I jumped off of things like that. <laughs> yes. Okay. With an umbrella. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because they tell me, you know. With an umbrella. Uh, okay, we are at this place now. Mm -hmm. You can hold your... Click your feet together or apart mm -hmm. and just rock like a tick tock clock. Mm -hmm. So if you have your feet a little bit apart, shoulder width apart, you keep And stretch up, stretch up. Yes. I like going in circles. Like a kid. Okay. 20 times. 20 times. 17. 
touching your knees, okay? That helps you with your turning of your weight. But try to keep the try to keep the legs straight. Right. You don't want to bend your knees to do it. You want to try to keep your legs straight. And if you can't do your knees, even your thighs. There and you you'll go. see that over time you'll go down lower and lower. No. Be okay. kind to yourself. We are at the hip rotation place. Mm-hmm. Opening up the hips. Feeling that. I'm feeling my hips. Mm -hmm. Now you put your hands this way or you can put your hands back, whatever way is comfortable. Mm -hmm. Learn and know your body. Know your body. Mm -hmm. Feeling how it helps. Mm -hmm. You know, I sometimes we do this. Right. Idea, uh -huh. And you can feel mm -hmm. the hip rotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The femur and the hip. What do you call it? Femur. Femur. Okay, let's do this 35 times. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Great. Okay. Swing it around. Just completely relax. And if you notice, if you turn your weight, your arms and relax your arms, the arms will fall. And you want to try to touch your kidneys in the back where your chi is stored, according to Chinese philosophy. We're doing this also 35 times. 35. 32, 33, 34, 35. All <laughs> right, I like the way you count. <laughs> let's, let's, let's end it with... Uh, Warm up your knees first. Warm them up. Okay. And this is just to help your knees have that ability to expand those muscles on the knees. So it will help you maintain your balance. Hold the side. And you can do a modified, or you can go down deep if you can. Your feet are together, your knees are together. And you're holding on the outside of your knees. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic. All right, we're going to do the breathing. Let's do the breathing. Okay, I'm going to sit in a modified on the chair, so to do it sort of modified for those who are having balance issues. Mm. All right. Okay, uh, we're going to start with our feet shoulder length apart, come to the riding horse stance. Mm -hmm. What's a riding horse stance? Oh, it's not an alligator, we can tell that. <laughs> it's a different stance altogether. Okay. I think it's a little more. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, right and cross that, bring your hands up. Mm -hmm. Make a fist, and we're going to pretend that we're pulling a very tough piece of something apart. Breathe in as you do this. Breathe in, pull. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. This is a good 
breathing exercise. I think if you're having a stressful day or you're sitting up at your desk and you want to take a little breather, mm -hmm. you know, just. Mm -hmm. Relax your body. Notice any tension in it and relax. Exactly. You know, come in and breathe. Okay, now we're going to play, I mean, play. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're, going to, we're going to push, come back to the riding horse stance. And pretend that you're breathing in. Hold it. Pushing through a little barrier. That's enough for that time. Yeah, good. All right. Oh. She needs to hydrate herself. Oh, yes. Hydrate yourself. Water, water everywhere. You got cold. Oh. <laughs> I like cold water. She likes lukewarm. Luke lukewarm. Introduce ourselves, otherwise we'd be two anonymous people doing some strange things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But that's okay. Okay. Wonder the balance. Oh well, yes, let's do that. Okay, this exercise helps you with your balance. And uh, at SOMA they use it for pre-operative and post-operative patients. And um, well, let me just show you by we call it golden rooster stands on right leg. Okay, this is my right leg here. And so I'm going to stand on the left leg on this side. Okay, so you bring up your opposite leg and you rotate the ankle. One way and the other way. Now, if you don't need a chair or a wall to hold on to, you can do it by yourself, but it's like that. And what happens is, um, Teacher Odie, would you do that again? No. Okay? No. <laughs> he's, he's pretending that he's holding onto a table, and this man is up, which could be doing a neck strike. Do that? That kind of thing. Okay, all right. And so what I like to do is I like to pretend that this is how, how well is your your ability to pretend that you have a table right here and at the same time you're holding onto this table you're going to move your hand and your right leg up at the same time and you want the elbow and the knee so it be in the same direction when you bring your foot up you want to point your toe in all right so again breathing in and down. And what you should do is see how long you can hold that this week. And as you practice during the week, see if you can hold it even longer. Say five seconds. Five seconds. Ten yeah. seconds. Ago. Ten seconds, yeah. And so you'll practice that. And this will help you with your balance. And of course, your leg doesn't have to be up this high. It can be down low. All right? Know your body. Okay, and so from the very beginning. From the very beginning? 
Okay, let's, here we are, standing side by side. Your palms are facing back. You have space under your armpits. They're all tight, like a robot. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders are down and move them back so to open up your chest. Your head is up straight, your neck focusing. You don't want to look up. Don't, don't want to be looking down, especially when you're doing the four. Don't watch your feet. You know, teach the feet what to do, but don't watch them. <laughs> okay? And, oh, which is, but one thing is important. When you step out, you do want to make sure there's space between your legs. You don't want to be on the same line. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> okay. And so, again, so we are standing here. We have both feet together. Our hands are turned, so the palms are facing behind us. We are going to shift your weight to the right. You're going to step out left. When your heel touches, your arms come up, shoulder lift. Leading with your wrist, your arms come down as you bend your knees. You shift your weight to the right. Open up that left toe. Reach over from the top of the ball and the bottom of the ball and bring it in. Make sure your elbow is longer than your wrist. And hold on one second. Yes. Okay, would you start a little bit? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. So, he's got both feet together. His shoulders are down and relaxed. He steps out, heel touches. Arms come up, leading with the wrist. Arms come down, bending your knees. He reaches over to grab the top of the ball and the bottom of the ball, and he brings it in. And you'll see that this elbow is lower than the wrist. And this is a ball, and I'm going to turn him a little bit, turn your waist a little bit, and you'll see that there's space here so that the ball is not all up against his chest but it gives a nice roundness so that his chi flows. So he's got the ball and that move for a party while horse is made. Mm -hmm. He steps up. Oh, you want to do brush knee? Ah, trying to fool me. <laughs> I didn't know you would catch that. I didn't know you would catch that. Well, you know, that's the idea. As you learn the movements, you should be able to know this is White Crane spreads its wings mm -hmm. and that this is brushed. Exactly, exactly. So you should learn each of the movements. All right. So here we go again from the very beginning. Oh, okay. And when your hand is down by your side, it should not be back this distance. It should not be forward. It should be the elbow should be across from the hip. And the hand should not be bent like this. It should be more like playing basketball. Back in, yeah. Yeah, okay, Tai Chi hands, relax, not tight. Okay, yes. Yeah, none of that. None of that. No rigidity. Okay. All right, so let's go for the, up to white crane spread this wing. Let's do that. Okay, ready. Shift your weight right, step out left. Arms come up, bend your knees as your arms come down. Shift your weight to the right, open up that left toe, reach over, grab the top of the bottom of the Stepping out, heel to toe. Left hand goes down, right hand, left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Grab your ball, step out, heel to toe, turning your waist. This is parking, the wild horse's name. Ball, step out, heel to toe. Now, empty step is a transition step. Got the ball, right crane spreads the swing, adjust the left foot. We're going to lock to the left. Turn your waist and lock to the right. Now we're going to do that with our back steam. So join us. Come on, join us. All right. Ready. Ready. Shift your weight to the right, step out left, heel touches, arms come up, 
Bend your knees as your arms come down. Shift your weight to the right. Open up, left toe, reach over, grab the ball. Bend it in. Step the top with your left. Heel to toe, left hand up, right hand down. Shift back. Gather your ball. Step out, heel to toe, right hand. Right foot. Shift back. Ball. Step out. Your ball and white crane spread his wings, just the left foot. Lock to the left. Lock to the right. You brush them. Brush them. Twist them. Did you join us? Yeah, yeah. Let, let me see. Yeah, that's all right. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, do you want to be from brush knee? From brush knee? I thought maybe. I might do a little uh, exercise called Tai Chi walking oh. in order to supply the transitional things that we do. So you see that, let's do it. And, uh, I think everybody will be able to understand that the footwork that's happening seems not to be important, but it is because here you're moving forward in a certain kind of way. So. Can you do it with your back to the folks so people can see it again? Coming this way, high T walking. Now watch him. He's going to step out with his left. Turn back and turn the foot. Step out with the right. Shift back at the same time. Turn the foot. Step out left. Turn the foot. Step out right. Turn the foot. And that's what you need to do. You need to have your feet know what they're supposed to do, and then eventually incorporate your hands in the movement. Right? If you teach your body parts which way they're supposed to go in these particular movements, trust them. Muscle memory will do the rest. Fantastic. Okay. So, are we going to do? Tai Chi walking. Tai Chi walking. Okay. Why don't you get on that? Okay. No, I mean, from the Oh, As we pass each other. Okay. For those who have balance issues, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then we'll do one, two, three. Okay? So you can have your hands behind your back or on your hips. Shift your weight to the right. Step out. One. Shift back. Two. Foot. Three. miss it but uh tai chi has a certain kind of rhythm to it yes and i think one of the purposes of doing it very slowly is to gain control of the rhythm to gain control of the rhythm 
it, which is very different from most of the rhythms of our day-to-day -day life. <laughs> you know, you know rush, we're hustling, we're going rush. from place to place. Rush, rush, and this rush, is rush. something that says, uh, slow down. Slow down. Feel everything that's happening from toe to all the way up through your body. Yes. All right. I thought I would add that. Because oh, please, because people are so unaware of their bodies, okay, until the body is screaming out, help, help, help. <laughs> There's a real ouch in some place, and then you rush to the doctor. What do you mean I can't get an appointment until next month? That hurt now. I need it fixed. Well, if you're aware of your body, you tend to know that something is wrong and that you should check it out with your local doctor or check out at Soma. I like that. Okay. So, what are we going to do now? I think we should finish up with two things. Oh, kind of meditation walking. Okay. Well, you want to do the form first and then meditation walking? That's, that's what, exactly okay. what I was thinking. Okay. We're going to do the form. And so, I'll tell you what we're going to do challenge. All right, <laughs> you're always up for a challenge, okay? You're going to do it facing them, and I'm going to do it with my back to them. That All is right? a challenge, that is okay. a challenge. All right, so I guess you'll start here, and I'll start here. All right. This ought to be fun. This should be interesting, <laughs> okay? Pick your direction. <laughs> All right. Red. Shift your way right, step out left. Now touch your arms, come up, lead with your wrists as your arms come down and bend your knees. Slowly shift your way to the right, open up the left toe, reach over, grab the top of the ball, and the bottom of the ball. Step now with left, towards the toe, party while horse is laying. Shift back, ball, step out. Body while horse is main. Shift back. <laughs> Ball. Step out. Party while horse is main. Empty step. Ball. White crane spreads his wings. Adjust the left foot. Block to the left. Block to the right. Turn your waist. Step out with the left. Left to toe. Brush knee hit in the center. Shift back. Both hands on the left. Step out, party while horse up. Brush knee twist that. Shift back, both hands on the right. Step out, brush knee twist that. Empty step. From the loop. The pulse monkey, right hand to the side. Step back, left. Turn on the right foot. Step back, right. Turn on the left foot. Step back, left. Turn on the right foot. Step back right, turn on the left foot. Reach over, grab the top of the ball, bottom of the ball, bring it in. Step out, more off. Press that press tail, bring it down. Circle, press, clear, and push up. Roll to the right, ready. Off, more off. Press the first tail, bring it down. Circle, press. Clear and push up. Facing the front, left shoulder back, right shoulder back, pull out, pull in. Step out and pack. Step in, go down and up. Make sure it's below the eyes. Turning the waist. I'm doing it more like Master Tom. The one who just came back. So there it is. Step out left. Bring it back in. Left shoulder back, right shoulder back, pull out, pull in, step over and tack. Empty step. Not kind of course. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> snake roost in the grass. Oh, golden rooster stand. <laughs> I did one thing too much. <laughs> Doing it experimental. Step over. Gray lady shadows to the right. Gray lady shadows to the left. Empty step. Needle at the bottom of the C. Stand back. Turn. Parry and punch. Clear and press and shift back and around. Please, I hate it correctly. Then go as well as rehearsal. <laughs> but you got no, the idea. but you know one thing. <laughs> <Who's that>? uh, <laughs> I think we, we're proving a point. <laughs> tai Chi exercise does not always have to be a dour, sour, taciturn, stoic exercise. It can be fun if you make it fun. Yes. Uh, at least I think what it does is force us to recognize what we might be doing wrong. This is true. So this uh, is true. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest you try this all the time, but from time to time, Switch it up. if you know the form. Right, and do it in different directions. Different okay? directions. And that way you will know that you really know the form if you take it, if you're used to doing it in one place, in one direction, pick another direction to do it in. And then you'll see if you really know the form. Not only that, you, <laughs> there's something about uh, what goes on with the ground. For example, right here, there's a little fissure in the side, in the, in the concrete. And I noticed both of us try to avoid that because, <laughs> you know, you, you want to step over it. But then there are ways and means to get around that. So uh, it's all it's all there. Right. And so, um, oh, well, well, right quick before we go into uh, walking meditation, I just wanted to point out, you'll see this asterisk here on the ground. And so for those who are wanting to work on their kicks, you want to place your foot in the middle of the asterisk, reach up, reach down, breathe in, and kick out. And this leg should be on one of the lines of the asterisk. So if you have some place that you can do this type of asterisk cross thing, you can then practice your kicks. And again, they don't have to be that high, they can be low, but it's not supposed to be a <laughs> At least if you want to do it low, keep it straight. Yes. Walking meditation uh, is asking us to just simply walk. Don't exaggerate anything, but simply start off with your left foot. Not like Tai Chi walking, that. Mm -hmm. Put straight ahead, mm -hmm. but peel down. in, hold it for a sec, breathe out, breathe in, breathe in as you lift your foot and exhale as you lower your foot, simple as that. And as I like to say, it's philosophically. Going, philosophically, it's going from the past to the present and into the future, preparing to go into the future. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. And knowing the past, but not living in the past. You got it. You got it. Okay. Uh, whoever does this with another person, pretend that you have a race going on, mm -hmm. and that whoever comes in last is the winner. May the best Tai Chi come in. Maybe the best Tai Chi comes in. Oh, last. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Begin.
<laughs> one and yet. So again, by only a foot. By only a foot. But again, do this with your family. Do it with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your children. Do some Tai Chi walking and see who comes in the last because that's the winner. And of course, if you have a baby in the family, maybe the baby will come in last or first. <laughs> they can do that. <laughs> All right. And, uh, you know, um, we had, when we were teaching at the Y on 6th, there was a young man. A young man who was autistic uh, came with his mother and his older brother. I think the, the one I'm talking about is about six or seven. He came with his mother and his older brother, and he just simply watched us for about five or six sessions. Right. And we would end the class walking across uh, a gym floor. And one day, he stood up and joined us with perfect composure. Yes. And he came in so slowly that all of us had finished the walk by maybe six or seven steps, and he was still walking. walking. I mean, he'd gone to a, so another serene. place. Yeah, it's so serene. In fact, it was very interesting, because as you know, Mother explained, he was autistic, but we were doing kick, slap, punch against the, uh, uh, the punching bag, and he'd been watching us for several months, and all of a sudden he got up, it was not over. several months. It was less time than that. Okay, seven yeah. weeks, okay. Yeah. And he came up to the punching bag yeah. and punched. He did that. Yeah. Okay, all to our amazement. So again, we don't know what our children are watching, but they are watching our behavior. And so we should be good examples to them so that we are never surprised or disappointed by their behavior because they see that we have not behaved as good people and good adults. So I'm going to end with, do um, you remember the exercise? 30 minutes a day, drink plenty of water. water. Stay hydrated. You know, if you're drinking soda, hello Herb, if you're drinking <laughs> soda, <laughs> that's one thing. But ice melting in the soda is not the water you need for your body. <laughs> Just saying, brother dear, a shout out to uh, Reggie and Melody and Dr. Gray and the Gray family, my Jesse and my sister-in-law, Louise. I hope you guys will join us on Sundays on Sunday. at 2 o'clock for virtual Tai Chi and others as well. The four to you. Oh, and Karen. Karen that I met at Trader Joe's that said, she walked up to me and she said, you don't know me, but I know you. I learned Tai Chi with you on the hill. And so that I was invited her. Uh, Signal Hill? The I think it was Hartwell a Hartwell Park. Hartwell Park. She said at Hartwell's Park. And so with Karen, get back to your Tai Chi, all right? Either at Hartwell or join us on Zoom or YouTube. And with that, we have not had our special lunch today. It's coming. And oh, he's fixing it? I'm looking forward to eating it. And uh, you guys enjoy your week. Be good to each other. Exercise. And blessings. See you next Sunday at 2 o'clock. All right? Ciao. <laughs>